Good day, everybody. Kevin Trudeau here. You know, I really want to say welcome to the Kevin Trudeau show, the radio show. Some of you watching have no clue of who you're listening to. And some of you know very, very well. You go back decades. You know, I'm an old guy. I may not look that old, but I'm a pretty old guy. I've been doing this since the 70s. And some people don't know the history. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of that. Uh, I'm going to tell you some things that you've probably never even heard of, even if you've been following me for decades. I'm going to tell you some things you haven't heard of. This is going to be an exciting sh show. It's not really a show. It's more of an announcement, uh, a little preview of some things that are going to be happening in the future. Today, we're going to be talking about, in addition to give you some preview and some, some idea of what's going to be coming in the future, I'm going to be talking specifically about making money. So if you're watching right now and you think, you know, I've, I've tried to increase my wealth, I've tried to increase my earnings, I've tried to reduce my debt, I've tried to make more money, I've tried a bunch of money-making schemes, I've been involved in network marketing or multi-level marketing, I've tried online uh, marketing, I've tried trading, you know, I bought all these courses on how to get rich, buying real estate with no money down, Internet marketing, I've tried this, I've tried that, I've tried this, I've tried that. Or some of you just don't even know what to do. And you still, it hasn't worked. You haven't made any money. You haven't manifested your dream. So you started buying all these courses on the law of attraction, how to manifest stuff. You started going to these success gurus. And there's a lot of guys who man, are, are fantastic speakers. Their whole life has been dedicated to teaching people how to manifest things how to be successful in business, how to make money. It's their whole life from the time that they started. They've done nothing else. They've done nothing else. You know, if they knew so much, why don't they go out there and make a billion dollars? And then after they do that, then teach you. Well, I'm going to be talking about making money and why should you even listen to me? There's a lot of people out there, a lot of New York Times and best-selling authors. Very few are number one best-selling authors. Some of them are New York Times bestsellers, but most of them just say best-selling author. What does that mean? They've sold virtually 300 copies of their book, and they're on some Amazon list or some list somewhere, and they say, see, I'm a bestseller. It has nothing to do with the term bestseller. It even doesn't have anything to do with the term New York Times bestseller. Or even number one, New York Times number one bestseller. What it comes down to is how many books have you sold? Well, close to 100 million copies right here. But that's not the reason to listen to me. Why should you listen? There is a number one foundational principle if you want to achieve success in anything. And, the, and it starts with who do you listen to? Most people listen to the wrong people. Most people get information from the wrong source. They listen to their dumb, stupid brother-in-law or sister-in-law who doesn't know anything and has an opinion about everything. They listen to their teacher. They listen to their parents. They listen to their uh, co-workers. They listen to the guy at the bar <laughs> sitting next to them. What do you think about this, Charlie? What do you think about that? Oh, I think you shouldn't do that. That's a waste of time. That's a big scam. So who do you listen to? You listen to somebody who has what you want or has attained in their life what you want and who has been where you are. That's the first person you listen to. Now, back in the 70s, I, was, uh, I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. My dad was a welder. My mother was a full-time homemaker. She was a wife. She cooked and cleaned, mowed the lawn, uh, ran errands, she didn't work. My dad worked. He was a welder. He took his lunch pail to work. You know, we said, yeah, he, he has the type of job where he takes a shower when he gets home from work, not when he goes to work. And we lived a very modest life. We had a small little house, about a thousand square feet. And we had one bathroom in the whole house. We paid for things when we could afford it. If the wash machine broke and you couldn't afford to buy a new one, you didn't buy it on credit. You waited and you washed the clothes by your hand and hung them out outside on the clothesline until you had enough money to buy a new washing machine. So we lived a very modest life. I never went to college. But early on, 
I was brought into an organization called the Brotherhood. <clears throat> I'll talk about that more in, in the future. Some of you have read my books. You know a little bit about it. If you watch the Kevin Trudeau radio show, the Kevin Trudeau show, we, had, we have 490 episodes, and some of those episodes are three hours long, on YouTube. Kevin Trudeau show on YouTube. Kevin Trudeau show. You can go there. We're going to be bringing that show back. But these are a decade old. But if you watch those shows, man, all my predictions have come true. I mean, and they're fantastic shows. They're fun. They're entertaining. They're, they're just engaging. They're full of powerful information that's going to help improve the quality of your life. So check that out. So I got involved in an organization. I was brought in. You can call it a secret society called the Brotherhood. <clears throat> President Gorbachev was a member of that organization. General Norman Schwarzkopf, two of my uh, good friends, we traveled together throughout uh, Australasia doing a tour as part of an organization called the World Masters of Business. President uh, Gorbachev, as you know, was the last president of the Soviet Union when it got uh, dismantled. And General Norman Schwarzkopf, Storman Norman, was the general who led the invasion into Iraq. And there was many, many other people. Uh, Kerry Packer, the richest man in Australia, was a member of that organization, and, uh, and many, many others that I got a chance to know over the years. This organization first taught me the principles of success, how to manipulate energy, how to manifest things in your life. You could call it the law of attraction. Things like you may have uh, heard from Napoleon Hill in his very famous book, Think and Grow Rich. And there's a lot of people out there that teach some of this stuff. But if you, if you look, when it comes to success or manifesting goals, dreams, and desires, again, who should you listen to? Listen to somebody who has or who attained at one point what you want and who has been where you are. So I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. I never went to college. We had no money. Maybe some of you are in that position. You didn't go to college or you went to a community college. You didn't have any money. You didn't grow up in a privileged family. Okay, so that's, we kind of are on the same page there. But I learned early on how to use the power of your mind and manifest things. So back in the 70s, I was trained by people like Muktananda of the City Yoga line in India about meditation and yoga. I read a book by uh, a guy named Hittleman, which was about yoga and meditation and nutrition. I started studying Chinese martial arts about how to move chi energy with Shaolin Kung Fu masters back in the 70s. And then I continued on in the, in the uh, 80s and 90s. And I was trained by Xian Ming, who is the Shaolin monk uh, in New York now. You can find him online. He's an amazing person. He actually lived with me in California for a while. I was trained in a bunch of the arts about how to manipulate energy from India, Nepal, um, Japan, China, many of those esoteric, but also from the West. Many Christian people, uh, major people you see on TV also trained me on how to use energy. And then there was the business people, the very successful billionaires. I remember I was at one guy's house in Palm Beach. It was a $35 million mansion. Back in the 90s, it was worth $35 million. It's probably $100 million now in today's dollars. But he would teach me about marketing, about business, and about how to use your mind to create your own reality, to create what you want in life. And today, I'm going to be teaching you a couple things. I'm giving you some free training here that should and will be very powerful to you if you apply it. And I'm going to give you some other updates too about what's going to be happening in the future because this is just the beginning. If you want to participate and get involved in some of these things, this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. So I was trained on that. And over the years, this guy with no education, with no money, never got a loan, never got financing, nobody ever invested. I started some companies from scratch. 
I generated a global business empire that did, in today's dollars, around $25 billion in today's money. Now, that's pretty impressive, starting with zero. I wrote a number of books, seven books, all number one New York Times bestsellers. They've sold over 100 million copies. Some of you may be familiar with them. The first book they ever wrote was this one here, Mega Memory, because I started the American Memory Institute, which became the largest memory training school in the world. Then I wrote this book, Natural Cures They Don't Want You to Know About. This book was number one on the New York Times bestselling list 26 weeks in a row. When it came out, it was the number one selling book in all of America. It sold more copies than Harry Potter. Then I had Deck Cures. They don't want you to know about. Then I had Free Money, which talked about how you can get uh, grants and, and loans and things that you never had to pay back. The Weight Loss Cure, they don't want you to know about, which talked about the uh, HCG, Dr. Simeon's protocol. And then there's a little known book very few people know about called Recession Cures. I was the first guy to call, talk about the recession and some of the things that were gonna be happening in, in the market. All my predictions, and you can see, this, see them on the radio show on YouTube, Kevin Trudeau Show. That's what you type in on YouTube, Kevin Trudeau Show. 400 episodes, over 400 episodes. And they're all true. And then I have brand new books, Nuggets of Gold for Total Success in Life. And then Nuggets of Gold, Happiness, Joy, and Bliss. You can get these all on Amazon. Now, this is a book I think you should really get. Uh, I should, you should get them all. But here, there's something in the back. And let's see if you can see that. About the author. And this shares information about me that I've never shared before. And it goes on for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pages. And it shares some stuff that you've never known. So I, I would highly encourage that. And then I, I authored a, an audio program. Boy, this is an old one. This is like uh, over 20 years old. Your wish is your command, how to manifest your desires. I taught a, a seminar in uh, the Alps. And I never say exactly where it was because it was at a very wealthy uh, friend's house who was a member of the Brotherhood. And he allowed me to use that. <clears throat> we had some members of royal families there. We had a king that was there. And we had a bunch of people come in. And I went out and I taught the, the material that was taught to me. I didn't invent anything about how to manifest goals, dreams, and desires. Basically, how you can have your wish is your command, how to manifest your desires. I recorded it. I went into the studio. I did a little edit. I did some other stuff in the studio and added it in to make it per, you know, perfect. And then I put it back. Back then, these are CDs. You can't even get these today. I mean, who has a CD player, right? That course is being called one of the greatest success courses of all time. People that have gone through training from other very good people, like Tony Robbins or Bob Proctor, the late Bob Proctor, he passed away. Um, there's so many experts out there. Joe, Joe Dispenza, Abraham, uh, Esther Hicks with Abraham Hicks. There's so many people out there teaching, or, and of course, all the Napoleon Hill things. The Law of Success, uh, Think and Grow Rich. There's so many people out there that teach how to manifest goals, dreams, and desires. But see, the problem is virtually none of these people have ever made any real money. They made all their money teaching courses on how to make money or how to manifest goals. They've never actually used that technique and actually started the business and actually created something. I never wrote a book until I had done about $10 billion in sales around the world. That was before the first book I ever wrote. This, Your Wishes, Your Command, didn't come out. This was when I retired. Same thing with these. These, these just came out in the last two years. I mean, there's a difference. There's a big difference. So people that go through this material say there's a depth of knowledge and understanding in your material that's quite unlike anything else I've gone through and that we'll call it the personal development 
uh, field. And it's true because a lot of people have sound good material as opposed to material that actually is from personal experience. Most of these guys just read a whole bunch of books. I remember one guy said, I read 700 books, and then I started teaching seminars on success. Oh, really? You read 700 books on success, then started teaching seminars on success? All you were doing was regurgitating what you read. And maybe you're a great communicator and a great speaker and did a great job because a lot of the material is good. But there's quite... There's, there's a big difference when you learn something and then say, let me apply it myself. Let me actually manifest a billion-dollar enterprise, global enterprise, and then see what happens. I mean, before you teach people how to become successful, in my particular case, I had mansions, had like $200 million worth of mansions in California, Chicago, New York, Florida, Zurich, Switzerland, Sydney, Australia, had Bentleys, Rolls Royces, Ferraris, Porsches, limousines. I had butlers. I had bodyguards. I had two full-time chefs, maids, full-time gardeners, just the overhead for the staff. And I had all my houses fully staffed. So if I went to California, I had a staff of people waiting for me there. Even if I hadn't, hadn't been there in six months, they're still on the payroll. Flying around in private jets, staying in the biggest hotel suites at every five-star resort. I remember I was staying in a suite in uh, the Lanesboro Hotel in London. And when I got there, they said, Mr. Trudeau, uh, your suit will be ready in about an hour. We're terribly sorry. Uh, Madonna is just finishing up. And so she just left. And so we have to clean the room. I said, oh, I'm in the same room as Madonna was, yeah. Then I was in, and it was this huge suite. And the guy says, oh, yeah, all the celebrities stay there. Arnold Schwarzenegger was there. And they went on and on and on. And I was in Rome. I was in this uh, suite. I think it was around 6,000 square feet. It's a suite, okay, 6,000 square feet. And somebody said, well, what do you need a suite for 6,000 square feet? You're just sleeping there. Actually, no, we had... Uh, uh, parties and we had guests in like a hundred people there so I needed a big room but when I was there same thing they were telling me about all the celebrities that had stayed in this particular suite in Rome and how, how unbelievable it was and you know these are like fifty thousand dollars a night and I'm not saying that to brag I'm not, that's not that's not the point the point is some of the things that I have done over the years before I even started teaching people about success or the trifecta. My friend Blaine Athorn calls it the trifecta of success. And that is, number one, money or wealth or financial freedom or financial independence, or you can call it manifesting material things in your life. That's the first thing. The second thing is health. And you know with my book, Natural Cures, they don't want you to know about... <clears throat> This one here, I'm probably one of the most, you know, famous natural cures health experts in the world. So I can I teach you how to be healthy and success, not just financially successful and materially successful, how to manifest stuff, but how to actually keep a healthy body and be young. And then the third, which is quite frankly the most important, is how to attain joy and happiness within how to overcome adversity, how to deal with life's challenges, how to maintain a mentality of optimism, certainty, peace, serenity, joy, basically how to be happy. Most people aren't happy. And you think, oh, if I make a lot of money, then I'll be happy. No, you'll be happy for a little bit of time and then it wanes. An external condition will never permanently affect your internal state of joy or happiness. You have to be able to be joyful and happy regardless of your external conditions. And I can teach you how to do that because this is something that I learned from the gurus over the years. I didn't invent any of this stuff. So I'm going to share with you now a couple things and I'm gonna, so you can take some notes. <clears throat> First off, we're going to be talking about making money. If you want to manifest goals, dreams, and desires in your life, what do you have to do? 
if you've read the book um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, if you've read Ask and It Is Given by Esther Hicks, if you've read any of the success books that talk about how to manifest things in your life, how to use the, quote, law of attraction, you know a little bit, but then you're probably, if you're watching this, thinking, yeah, but Kevin, it really doesn't work. There's a reason why it doesn't work. It actually does work, but there is a reason why it's not working for you. So here's, here's some of the secrets that I was taught back in the 70s. The first one is, who do you listen to? Number one, most people listen to the wrong source. You're listening, especially when it comes to making money or retaining joy and happiness, Hey, look, you want, to change, you, want to, you want to be really happy? There's a bunch of gurus on YouTube. But do you really want to be like that person? Do you want to dress like that person? Do you want to have this long beard? Do you want to not bathe for a month and smell? I mean, you don't have to look like that to be joyful. But they make it appear that unless you live like them, eat like them, dress like them, not shave, not bathe... Don't brush your teeth. You can't be joyful and happy and can't achieve enlightenment and self-realization and nirvana. Well, that's not true. You can be wearing a suit and tie. You can be wearing anything you want. You can shave. You can comb your hair. And you can be joyful on the inside. You can be completely enlightened and self-realized. You don't need to look like an Indian guru or a Christian saint <clears throat> or a Sufi in Islam. Or anything like that. You can be as normal as you want. There's no right or wrong here. So who do you listen to? This is number one. Listen to somebody who has what you want and has been where you are. Now, if they don't have it now, did they attain at one point? Because people go through different things. For example, in my particular life, at one particular point, I had all these places all over the world and all this stuff. And that's what I wanted at that particular point. Well, now, I don't want that. So I, I, I don't have it. But I, I did have it. Okay. So somebody who has or had attained at one point what you want and has been where you are, which means they have a similar background story to you. No education, no college. Uh, dad was a welder. No money, no financing, no loans. Bad vocabulary. Learning disability. That's me. And still was be able to create a global empire of, of, in today's money, uh, who knows what it was worth, 25 billion, who knows, something astronomical. Superior health, you know, I'm very old, I'm very, very old, but I'm um, in incredible dynamic health. I, I don't take any pharmaceutical drugs. I mean, I'm the natural cures guy, right? Joyful, happy. If, if you are around me, you, you grasp that sense of peace, that inner sense of certainty. And this is something you can all attain. I wrote a, uh, an article called State of Consciousness. By the way, the Kevin Trudeau fan club has a Telegram channel. You may be watching this on that Telegram channel. You may be watching this on YouTube or heard about this from Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or something like that. But you should join that Telegram channel for the Kevin Trudeau fan club. I give a lot of free information there and there's a lot of stuff that's all free that can positively impact the quality of your life. So number one, who do you listen to? You need to listen to somebody who has what you want and has been where you are. Can't emphasize that enough because if you make the wrong decision there, nothing is going to work because you're going to be getting bad instructions. You're going to be getting bad lessons. You're going to be mimicking and modeling somebody who doesn't know, they think they know, they have good intentions, but what they're teaching doesn't really work in real life. So you have to listen to somebody who has what you want. <clears throat> I've had so many people tell me, please bring back the Kevin Trudeau radio show, please teach us, please give us some stuff so that we can start manifesting things, and I am going to be doing that, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So number one, you have to pay attention to who you listen to. I might not be the guy that 
that resonates with you and you may not want to listen to me. That's fine. Find somebody, if it's not me, that has what you want or has had what you want and has been where you are. Now, some people watching this are, uh, want to get involved in marketing. Well, the Wall, I, you know, I've been on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. I've been on the front page of the London Times, Moscow newspaper, the Sydney, Australia Times front page, LA Times, Chicago Tribune, New York Times, all front page. They called me, and I was on Time Magazine, Newsweek. I've been on Fox uh, News globally. ESPN even had me on. Joe Rogan and I did some work together on a pool tournament. I've been on every major talk show, both TV and radio. Howard Stern in America, back when Rush Limbaugh was on, I was there. Bill O'Reilly when he was on Fox, Fox and Friends. I was on CNN, Larry King, every major talk show, TV and radio in America, and many of them in Canada, Europe, Australia. I've been on those shows. I've been in all the newspapers. They called me America's marketing genius. They called me a true marketing guru. They called me the master of modern day marketing. I mean, the accolades I appreciate that because of my marketing breakthroughs. A lot of people don't know. I wrote direct mail pieces back in the 70s when I was in my, very young. But I would write direct mail pieces. And there's a, there was a book that came out in, in, the, uh, in the 90s. It was called The 100 Most Successful Direct Mail Pieces of All Time. There was, there's 100 of them. I had 22. 22 were mine that I wrote. I mean, that's unbelievable. When I did TV infomercials, I had the highest number of winning profitable infomercials ever in the industry worldwide, but more importantly, the highest percentage. Over 82% of the infomercials that I shot actually were profitable and made money. Nobody even came close. Most people, it was like 10% or 5% or 1%. There were one guy, he made like 100 infomercials I think 200 infomercials, all of them failed, all. And he was charging people $200,000 to make an infomercial and he couldn't make a winner. And he was, he called himself the infomercial, you know, uh, an infomercial expert because he made 200. You're not an infomercial expert by making 200 that fail. <laughs> You're an expert at failing. Let's see what you did and not do it. So, I mean, there's a background there, again, most people don't know about. I did uh, print advertising back in the 70s and the 80s, full-page ads in newspapers and magazines, and I broke all these sales records. Did short-form commercials, many of them that you, you're probably too young to even know, Ginsu Knife, Armor Coat Cookware, there's a lot of them that you, you broke, broke records back then. All the guys in the in that industry back back in the day when it first started TV infomercials, 1984, <clears throat> what we did was just groundbreaking in terms of marketing, multi-level marketing. I was involved in that with a company called Nutrition for Life. I put 200,000 people in my downline in less than two years. It broke every record in the history of multi-level marketing. We did over 200 million in sales. I think it was the stock went from 35 cents. I'm sorry, to 50 cents to 35 dollars. From fifty cents to thirty-five dollars in less than two years, we're on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. I mean, just broke every single record. So this there's a history of amazing success uh, in marketing. So who do you listen to? You listen to somebody who has what you want, has been where you are. But there's something different, and that is this: what I'm going to be sharing, free, on the. Kevin Trudeau show, which will be a radio show, podcast, on YouTube, and through some of the other things I'm going to mention, <clears throat> if you get involved, is information on the trifecta of success. How to make money, which is manifesting goals, dreams, and desires, physical stuff, health, and happiness. And there'll be some other fun things in there as well. You can go to Kevin Trudeau show on YouTube. We got 490, I think, episodes. Some of them are three hours. And you can see some of the old, old shows. They're great. You will be positively impacted and amazingly entertained. So I would encourage you to do that. 
But let's talk about now a couple bits of secrets on how to make money. Number one, if you read Think and Grow Rich, if you read all those books on success and how to make money, it's just regurgitating the same things over and over again. Because all those authors, as I mentioned, what they did is they went back and they read all the books on success, law of attraction, and so forth. And all they did was regurgitate it. Really, nothing's new. Nobody's really inventing stuff. It always just is a regurgitation of past material. When I was trained on this in the Brotherhood, and I read those books, by the way, and I, and I went to those courses, Zig Ziglar, some of you don't even know who he is. He was one of the greatest motivational speakers of all time. Ed Foreman, one of my closest friends. He passed away recently. One of the greatest motivational speakers of all time. Brian Tracy, one of the greatest trainers and motivational speakers of all time. Charlie Tremendous Jones, one of my closest friends too. One of the greatest motivational speakers of all time. We traveled around and did these seminars on, on programs called Masters of Success. And we would teach people... Success principles. Well, they would teach success principles. I would teach me memory from my original book, uh, Mega Memory. But all these guys are teaching things f that they have learned from books and seminars. When I was trained on how to manipulate energy and how to create things with your mind in the Brotherhood, which is, again, a secret society, similar to Skull and Bones. Some of you are familiar with that from Yale University. Bill Clinton was a member of Skull and Bones, and uh, uh, Bush, both President Bushes were members of Skull and Bones. It's a secret society that's so secret. George Bush said in his book, when I went to Yale, I was uh, invited to join Skull and Bones, which was a very exclusive secret society. It is so secret... That's all I can say about it. Now, there's, they have a Skull and Bones Island, which I've been to, so I know a little bit about that. Then there's Bohemian Grove. I've been there. I know a little bit about that, being involved in this. But I was trained on things that aren't in any of these books. Now, let's talk about money. Think about it. There are people that you may know personally and it's like they were born under a lucky star. Everything seems to go their way. Everything they touch seems to turn to gold. Or conversely, you may feel that you were born under a black cloud and nothing is going your way. Everything you touch turns into a disaster. Everything you touch fails. You can't succeed in anything. Everything you try just doesn't work. You have a hard time holding on to any money if you get it. You get a little extra and all of a sudden a car breaks down and you have to use it for that. It's like I can't even save money because every time I get it, it's like something happens where it just goes. Or if I start a business, it doesn't work. You may, you may understand what I'm talking about. You may feel that frustration like you're unlucky that things ain't going your way. You, you may even feel like there's a curse on you. It's like what's going on here? Well, when I was in the Brotherhood, I sat down with these guys, and they were giving me my training. <clears throat> and they said, Kevin, go down and become a caddy at Tedesco Country Club. You're going to meet wealthy people, very wealthy people. Do that for a couple weeks, then come back. <clears throat> so I went down there, and I caddied for these wealthy people. And I listened to them talk to one another. I saw how they walked. And after about two weeks, I went back to my mentor. We called it an uncle. My uncle. And if it was a woman, it was an aunt or an aunt. And I went to my uncle. He was a man. <clears throat> and he said, okay, you started hanging around all these super wealthy people. What did you notice? I said, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't understand how they're successful. They seem like they're not very intelligent. They just seem completely normal. They don't seem any different at all. And he says, that's exactly right. There's really no difference between an unsuccessful person and a successful person. 
The big difference is there are blocks on the unsuccessful person. Even if the unsuccessful person does everything right that he learns in all the success books and follows the formula for success, he still won't succeed because there are energetic blocks. And I go, wait a minute, you're, you're over my head here. I don't understand what energetic blocks. It sounds like witchcraft, you know, look. If I go to the gym and pump iron and watch my weight, my muscles are going to grow. I mean, there's no energetic block there. So if I do something to make money, if I start a business and do the proper things, I'm clearly going to be successful. And he says, really? Does it, does it work that way in real life? Look at, look at all the companies that start and go bankrupt. Are they all idiots? Are they all stupid? All the investors, are they dumb? They went to Harvard. They went, they're educated. They invest in this. It's a, it's a restaurant. It's a florist. It's a business idea. And so many of them fail. The majority of them fail. Why do you think that is? And then somebody else, everything he starts works. He says there are energetic blocks. And I learned about this. There are 33... Interestingly enough, there are 33 degrees in Freemasonry. There are 33 particular energetic blocks. And if you find a successful person, Stephen Jobs, Elon Musk, look at the guys who are on uh, Shark Tank. And one of the guys, a good friend of mine, <clears throat> uh, who was on the first year of Shark Tank. I mean, good friend. We were on private jets together. I mean, going all over the world. You know, we did a lot of business together. I won't mention his name, but super, super guy. And he says, think about it. Isn't it true that it's almost surprising that they're successful? Yeah. So if, if you look at people, yes, there are some traits and way of thinking that successful people have. For example... If you look in this book here, Total Success in Life, which is available on Amazon, there are little blurbs. For example, status is spending money you don't have to buy things you don't need to impress people you don't like. That's a success principle. Successful people understand that. They don't have status. A living is made during the nine to five. But a fortune is made during the nights and weekends. What that means is successful people, they don't work nine to five, Monday through Friday. They're working all the time. So they put in more time. There are so many powerful things in that. So there are 33 blocks that you have and need to get, we'll call it cleared, if you want to become successful. When these are cleared, it almost doesn't matter what you do because energetically you become virtually a success magnet. I got these cleared early on in my life. It frustrated people when I would do something and it would just work. They would get involved in a business for two, three, four, five years and it would fail and it would not work. And I would come in, a perfect example, my friend David Bertrand, and Jana Mitchum, they owned a company called Nutrition for Life International. It was publicly traded. They, were, they ran that company. It sold nutritional supplements and homeopathic remedies for 10 years. And they were doing about $10 million a year in sales, which is not bad. But it was doing $10 million a year in sales for 10 years. You know, they took it over, and they, they couldn't. Increased sales. So for 10 years, this company just had no increase in business. So I came in and I said, all right, give me some equity in the company and let me see what I can do. They gave me a big chunk of equity, stocks, what's called warrants, where I would get 18% of the company. The stock was selling for 50 cents. Less than two years later, the company had done $200 million in business. The stock went to $35. 
And somebody says, well, how did you do that? It's not just the marketing techniques. It's the energy. When you have the energy freed, what you do creates results. When the energy is blocked, if you do the exact same thing, you won't get any results. So there are 33 things that have to be released for you in order to make money if you're stuck making money. And I'll tell you the first one. The first energetic block is fear of failure. Now you've heard this. Somebody says, I've heard this before. No, you haven't heard this. There are two sides that motivate everybody. One is called pain and one is called pleasure. We are more motivated to avoid pain than we are to get pleasure, generally speaking. Some people, that's not the case, but generally speaking. In your field, in your energy field, if there is what's called an engram, uh, in the East they call it a samskara, you can call it an energetic imprint. You can call it a lot of different things. It's stuck energy. If in your field there's a ball of stuck energy which links success to pain or failure to pain, like if I try and fail, I'll be embarrassed, I could lose everything, I can experience pain. It may be irrational, because if you actually think, what's, what's the big deal if you fail? You couldn't even write down a list. But in the field, there is an irrational emotion that's trapped. And that's why <clears throat> these energetic things are so powerful. There are irrational and uncontrollable emotions trapped in your field, which are stopping you from making money. It's stopping you from doing the right things long enough consistently, which is one of the keys here. One of, it's one of the, you can see there. See this? Successful people do the right things long enough consistently. But you won't do that if you have an energetic block. And even if you try and do it, the energetic block is going to prevent you from achieving success. So this has to be eliminated. Over the years, after I learned this, and after these um, blocks were cleared from my field, it became almost a joke. Because no matter what I wanted to do in business, it just miraculously worked. Money just started pouring in. And I just couldn't, I was shocked and amazed. I'm not going to say I didn't believe it, because I could see it. But it was just so, almost, I felt like I was cheating in life. Because it was just like, this is too easy. I can make so much money, so fast, it becomes, this is almost too easy. And you know, when it becomes too easy, it's like, why even bother to do it? Because part of the game of life is enjoying the game. But if it's rigged in your favor, you think you're going to love it. It's almost like I can make so much money. But what happens is, yes, you can. And now you start realizing, what do I really want to do? What gives me joy? What's my mission? What's my purpose? Wow. And this leads to inner joy, peace, and health and happiness. It leads to these other areas because now the money, it, it, it changes. Your, your, your understanding of money is money is a renewable resource. I can, make any, I can make it any time. I don't need it. I can make it any time I want. I can just live my life the way I want. So what I did after I learned this and after these things were cleared for me, there were some people around me that wanted to become successful. And unbeknownst to them, I gave them a series of 
processing when we were together, clearing many of those 33 blocks. I didn't have to clear all 33. You can just clear 10. And all of a sudden, money just starts pouring in. And I'm one particular guy from England. His company did almost a billion dollars in sales. This, this was a, a, an amazing success story. Again, started from nothing. Father was a tailor. There was another fellow who used to work for UPS when I met him and cleared some of these things. He didn't even know I was clearing them. And all of a sudden, his company did hundreds of millions in sales. Another guy used to make pizzas. He was a pizza man. I cleared some of these things in his field, and all of a sudden, he had 350 employees. His company was doing hundreds of millions a year in sales. There was people all over the world that I started working with, and I saw the results myself with my own two eyes. Yeah, I saw it for me, but it was like, will this work for others? And I started seeing this results. So I'm going to do something I've never done before. And that is this. September 27th, 28th, 29th. Three days. I'm going to be doing what's called the money processes. The money processes for three days, I will be clearing 30, not all 33. There's three that really don't need to be cleared, and I can't do that because it's too powerful. It may give you too much power, and I have to make sure that I know who you are and uh, what your intentions are and integrity is before I can release those. But you don't need that in order to start releasing some of the things in your field, which could potentially make you a money magnet and potentially could increase your ability to manifest money in your life and manifest anything in your life. I've never done this before. I've done it a few, a few of the 33 on different people without them even knowing it. I've never done it in a formal setting. So I'm going to be doing this September 27th, 28th, and 29th. It's called the money processes. It's going to be a limited amount of space. It's a limited amount of people. It's going to cost $25,000 if you want to come to those three days. And some of you said, man... If I had $25,000, I probably wouldn't need the money processes. I mean, I'm broke. That's why I need them. Okay. So it's $25,000 if you want to attend in person. And for $25,000, not only can you attend, you can actually bring a spouse, a family member, or a guest for $25,000. But as soon as it's sold out, it's sold out. Now, some of you say, I can't afford that. No problem. You can get the first day, just the first day, which is enough to start creating things in your life, for 10000 10000 you can get day one. And there's two ways you can attend day one. You can either come live and in person, or if you can't make it, I'm going to record the event. And I will have some of my staff have the recording on a computer, and they're going to fly around the world, so they'll be someplace close to you, maybe within three or 400 miles, it could be really close, where you could drive to or get to, and then sit in a room maybe just by yourself. For example, we, we have one person in Argentina that wants to do this. There's nobody else in Argentina right now, so we're going to fly somebody to Argentina and give that person the uh, training one-on-one. -on -one which is great. Maybe there'll be some more people from Argentina now. But we'll send somebody to actually deliver this, uh, probably in October or November. Actually, uh, probably November, because it'll give me a chance to uh, edit it and put together the schedule and so forth and so on. If you want to come to that event, you have to send a email. So send an email to training at kevintrudeau.com. Training at kevintrudeau.com. That's the email address, training at kevintrudeau.com. And then say, I'm interested in getting a ticket to go to the event live uh, for $25,000, or I'm interested in just coming to the first day for $10,000. We'll have somebody get back to you, give you all the details, and, and work out all, all the payment 
we t we're going to take payments with wire transfers or, or checks. So that's the first thing. And I will tell you this. I know what this can do, and I know what it's, it's going to do. At least that's my, my feeling. I'm confident that people that are in this are going to see miracles happen in their life like they've never seen. Because this is, people always come up to me and say, how is it that you've been so successful over the years? I mean, how is it that you write a book? I mean, think about it. Here's a little thing. Okay, So I write this book. It's 600 pages, right? Called Natural Cures They Don't Want You to Know About. I go to publishers and say, hey, I got this book. Do you want to publish it? Every publishing house said, no. Number one, it's too thick. It's 600 pages. No one's going to read it. Number two, it's a book on health and you're not a doctor. I said, but believe me, it's going to sell. They said, no. So I have to start my own publishing company. So I published this myself. It's a hardcover. It's like a real book. It's gorgeous. And you can see it's stitched. You can't see that. But it's stitched. It's not, not some really cheap book. The quality of the paper is amazing. We got it beautiful. Boom. 50 million copies. Number one on the New York Times bestselling list. 26 weeks in a row. Best-selling book in all of America the year it came out. How did that happen? And it just happened like instantly. And then all my other books, the same thing. They just instant successes. All the mega memory, when I went on TV with that, in 1989, $450 million in sales. How does all these things happen with just amazing success? How do all the celebrities come out? You know, Paul Servino was in Goodfellas. You know, uh, uh, all these other, he, he passed away recently. He was a, uh, somebody I knew. And Jerry Orbach from uh, Law and Order. We shot pool together. And how does all this stuff happen? It's, you need to get that field clear. So if, if you want to come and get that, that's something to consider. But maybe you don't have the money. Okay, so let me give you some free things or close to free so you can start learning and start earning the money, and then you can get this training later. Next, you can go to KT, that's the initials, ktfanclub.com and become an official partner. You have to sign up. You become a partner. It's $25 a month. Anybody can afford that. And what you get for that is you get a monthly Zoom call that I do for two hours every month live. You get to send in all, any question you have. And I am, I am, I'm going to be answering every single question on video. Some of them I'll answer live on the Zoom. And if I don't do it live, and if you sent the question in, I'm still going to answer it. And I'll put it up on the website in the partner-only area. It's available only to partners. So any question, I've had questions about aliens, about Area 51, about health, about marijuana, about psilocybin, about what my th theory is about this and that. I don't have theories. I don't have opinions. I'm going to tell you what I know. From direct experience. So that's powerful. It's only $25 a month. So go to ktfanclub.com and become a partner. You also get to come free to the partner convention, which is for partners only. And you have a chance to meet me one-on-one, -on -one and, and we can talk and get to know each other. The partner convention is going to be coming up July 22nd here in the Chicagoland area. And it's free for partners the whole day. And there'll be some surprises there, some great people that you'll have a chance to meet. I'll be there the entire day. I'll have a chance to meet you, shake your hand. It's the partner convention, July 22nd. It's free for partners only, but you have to go to ktfanclub.com and sign up as a partner. It's $25 a month to become a partner, and you get the monthly Zooms. The next monthly Zoom is April 22nd at 1 p.m., Central Standard Time, which is Chicago time. So if you become a partner, you get that. You get a chance to send in your questions, and I'll answer them all. Next. <clears throat> now let's talk about some free stuff. I talked about 25000 I talked about 10000 to come to the Money Processes Seminar. You can't afford that, some of you. For those who are lucky enough to come, it's going to be life-changing. And, I, and, you know, it, it's, it reminds me of a, of, a, of a situation years ago. I was in Boston, Massachusetts, probably in the early 80s. 
And there was a guy that I was in, introduced to who was speaking to a group of us, and he was going to be doing a seminar on the some of the key elements of success in life. And as he described it, I'm thinking, man, I'm definitely going to this seminar. And then he says, I'm in Boston now. I'm in Boston, Massachusetts. This is in the 80s. And he goes, the seminar is going to be in Los Angeles, California. And I thought, I'm not going to that seminar. And then he says, and it's going to be $1,000. This is back in the 80s, so that's like 10000 today or 5000 And I said, I'm definitely not going to that seminar. That's too much money. And then he said this. He goes, now for some of you, you think going to Los Angeles is too far. And for some of you, you think $1,000 is too much, so you're not going to go to the seminar. He goes, that's why you're a loser, and you'll always be a loser. Successful people are always willing to do what the other guy ain't willing to do. Successful people are always willing to make sacrifices. Successful people are always willing to do what's inconvenient. And I thought, I'm going to that seminar. And I went to that seminar, and I'll never forget it. I walked in, and I'm a successful guy, you know. I got a nice suit. I'm feeling good. So I get into the seminar, and we're chatting with a bunch of the people, you know. And this guy walks across the stage, and it's a small group. It's maybe about 70 or 80 people. And he comes across the stage, and he said, this is back in the early 80s. He goes, if you didn't make three and a half million dollars last year or more, sit down and shut up. And I'm like, eee. who do you listen to? And he said, I made over three and a half million dollars last year. I worked part time. He says, I know a little bit about making money, probably more than you do. He goes, I'm going to teach you how to do it. And man, I learned some things powerful from somebody who did it first. Who do you listen to? So if you can get to that money process seminar, again, send an email to training at kevintrudeau.com, training at kevintrudeau.com, and say, I want to go to the money process seminar. If you want to go live, it's 25000 If you can't, you can go to the first day. It's only ten. And if you can't go because it's timing-wise, we will come to you and deliver it to you. And it, it might be even me. I'm actually going to be flying around the United States and maybe around the world delivering this myself. Wouldn't that be cool if I knock on your door? Hi, I'm the guy who's delivering the uh, money processes seminar. I got the video here. We're going to put it up and then I can a answer your questions tonight. We'll go out and have dinner. That's, that's, my, that's my dream. I, I, think, I think it could happen. Become a partner in the fan club. KTFanClub.com. KTFanClub.com. Get a, become a partner. Get on the next monthly Zoom, April 22nd. And the partner convention is available to you free, July 22nd. When you become a partner, we'll give you all the details. Okay, next. There's some free training. Now, some of you are thinking, okay, well, that's all sound great. Anybody can afford 25 bucks a month. And if you're not a partner, you can become a partner. But there's some free training. So let me give you a couple websites here. First one is gurukev.com, G-U-R-U-K-E-V, K-E-V, K-E-V. <laughs> Guru Kev, G-U-R-U-K-E-V.com, gurukev.com. There's a bunch of free training there, free lessons, lessons on the power of giving. They're all free. Next is nuggetsofgold.com. You can buy the book or you can get them all free just by going to nuggetsofgold.com. Go there. If you go to ktfanclub.com, you can also get free training. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, and I send you out free training from time to time. So that's all available. Lastly, well, a couple things lastly. We have a Telegram channel for the fan club. If you're not on that Telegram channel, go to Telegram, download that app on your phone and or your computer. Get on the Kevin Trudeau Fan Club Telegram channel. I give a lot of free training there. That's really powerful. 
And then lastly, you can go to Kevin Trudeau Show. It's called Kevin Trudeau Show on YouTube. I have 490 radio shows that I did over a decade ago, and they're there. You can watch some of them. They're entertaining. They're powerful. They have great free information. But here's the last thing. <clears throat> if any of you want to be involved in the new radio show, podcast, send me an email if you want to volunteer your time, if you have some expertise in video editing, lighting, uh, internet marketing, uh, booking guests. If you have some interest in saying, listen, I'd be willing to volunteer a little bit to be involved in the radio show. I'll volunteer in the beginning because maybe there's some upside for me. Send me a uh, send me a, a, an email at radio at kevintrudeau.com and say, I want to volunteer. We'll get back to you and get all the details. Radio at kevintrudeau.com. You can send me an email, radio at kevintrudeau.com. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, number one, it could be fun and exciting, but you know, Joe Rogan, and he's not a good friend of mine, but I know him. Uh, we, we, uh, he's a great pool player and very intelligent guy. Uh, we were in the booth watching a, uh, I put together a pool tournament and we were commentating on one of the matches together. So I had a chance to meet him in California. Then we went out afterwards and shot some pool. He's a great pool player. But he sold half of his podcast, I think for, to Spotify for a hundred million dollars. You know, when I had my radio show, I think I had more listeners than he does now back then. And that was before podcasts. That was before anything. So I think if I come out with this radio show, there's a lot of upside. And so if you're involved, you know, maybe you can go to the pay window with me as well. Also, you can see back there, this side, KT Daily, uh, the uh, vitamin, uh, that may be coming back as well too. So I guess the point is, if you're signed up as a partner, you're going to get access to all these things first. If you... Say, yeah, I want to be involved in a radio show, but you're not a partner. Why would I pick you? Obviously, I have so, more people. Uh, I, I would pick partners first. So think about that. There's a lot of opportunity here in the future. Things we can do together. Have fun with. And positively impact people's lives in ways that they can't even imagine right now. So think about that. You know, you can be, do, and have anything and everything you desire. You have to know what to do, do the right things. You have to know what the right things are. You have to do them long enough, which means consistency and persistency. And you have to do them consistently, which means on a regular basis. Do the right things long enough consistently. If you do that, you can achieve success. But there's one caveat. You have to get out of your field the energetic things that are blocking you from manifesting all the things you have in life. And you know this. You, 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 I'm sure you may feel like you're born under a lucky, uh, an unlucky star. You may feel like there's a black cloud over you or there's a curse on you. And theoretically, it's kind of true if you look at the energy. Once that goes away, your life will never be the same. You'll have blessings coming into your life that you could not even imagine. So consider taking advantage. Start by going to ktfanclub.com, becoming a partner, or at least signing up for the free newsletter. Go to gurukev.com. Sign up for the free information there. It's all free. Go to nuggetsofgold.com. Become a member of the Telegram channel for the fan club. Kevin Trudeau fan club Telegram channel for the free training. If you can come to the seminar in September, get a ticket. One more thing about that ticket, by the way. Two people, as I mentioned. If you buy a ticket to come... You can come, but you can also bring a spouse, a family member, or a guest. We're delivering more than we promise. The KT Radio Show is going to be coming back. Check it out. There's a lot more coming. A lot more free training coming. 
I'm going to be giving you some real powerful things that you can apply in your life. But right now, for making money, consider this. Do you have a fear of trying to be successful and failing? Increase your awareness. Increase your consciousness of that. Focus on that. Look at that and say, what am I afraid of? Why would I be fearful of trying something and failing? Allow that to surface and start to transmute that energy. And this can be a first catalyst for you. I can do it when we're one-on-one, -on -one, when we're doing the process. But start right now. The best is yet to come for you. And expect your miracle. I'm Kevin Trudeau, gurukev.com, kevintrudeau.com, ktfanclub.com, and Kevin Trudeau Show on YouTube. Sign up, share the information with others. This is just the beginning. Much love, everybody. We'll see you soon.